It's scary. Yes. But I'm optimistic. Let me show you why. So, I'm optimistic because that water is wide open. There's no ice to speak of, it is just the ramp. In two days, I'm gonna come down here and put my boat in the water using this ramp here at James Creek. Well, what that means is I need to make sure the ramp is ready to go. So I bought a whole bunch of salt and I'm planning on just throwing it up and down that ramp and getting it broke up. And the first day that I come out here, in two days whenever I have to get out on the big water, I might have to spend some time here at the dock. But that's all right, man. I don't mind doing a little work here at the dock. I'll bring the shovel and finish chiseling it up and salt it. I'll break it all the way up to the parking lot if I have to. Because that water is calling. So that ramp has about an inch of ice all the way down it. And I have a bag of uh, salt here. I'm just gonna throw and just get it to start it breaking up. And then I'll come down with the shovel and finish it off if I got to. But <sighs> water looks good. And guys, I know it's been chilly, chilly out. This has been the coldest in like 30 years or something like that. People are talking about crazy. Thing. So this is definitely going to be the coldest year that I've done this. Now I've done this four years in a row and this is definitely the coldest of those four years. I kind of have a challenge here to make it work this year because if I can make it work this year, I know I can always make it work. So a little bit of a challenge. It's a little chilly out. So I'm going to get to work here, get this stuff, uh, the salt spread so that it's ready. Glad I've got four bags of that. Can't believe how cold it is, guys. Fingers are frigid cold. I appreciate you guys following along with me on this little adventure. Today is Christmas Eve. So first off, I wanna say Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, Fishing and chilling kicks off on Monday, and I do it every year between Christmas and New Year's. So there's a couple days there. You just keep an eye out for it each year. And it's a public event. There's no charge to it. We go to boat. We go to Nancy's boat to shore, and we set up heavy tents with heaters, and we go fishing, and we just hang out, have a good time. I only fish during the warmest part of the day, and then in the evenings I'm back at camp, or I'll run into town, go to a restaurant or something. But that's up to you guys. So the road coming in here is actually really covered in ice. And I'm actually surprised that they don't have just a little bit of winter maintenance that they would do here. But apparently that's something they just don't do. So if you guys are coming back here, just take your time, pick your way through it. Um, if, my, if my old pickup truck can make it, you guys can certainly make it too. The other years that I've come back, we haven't had to uh, <clears throat> deal with a deep freeze and then a few inches of snow and ice and stuff. It hasn't been an issue, so. It's a real challenge this year, and I'm, I'm up for it. I'm just uh, gonna be smart about it and take my time. It's just the ramp. So if I have issues with that ramp, I'm gonna stop down and look at Shy Beaver also. Shy Beaver is froze um, quite a bit at ways out there. So we're gonna stick with James Creek. Hmm. The dock looks the same anyway, so James Creek it is. After inspecting the docks, uh, I'm a little bit worried, to tell you the truth, guys. I don't know that I'll be able to navigate the dock. The ramp itself is just coated in an inch of ice, maybe two inches of ice. The issue is everything that's melting up in the parking lot seems to be flowing right to the ramp. And so just the overflow 
it's coming right down. It's almost like even if we did get some melt, it wouldn't matter because it all just dumped back on the ramp and coated again. But probably Monday, come out with my chisel and see if I can't break it down to the, the concrete, see if the ice or the salt doesn't break it up enough that I can get down to the ramp. The water's fine. The water does not have ice on it at all, not even skim. So it's just the ramp. And the Army Corps does no winter maintenance back that road, so it's really just left to the elements, to us, you know, managing the dock and the, the ramp. In my mind, I've already got, got it worked out, plan B, so to speak. If the ramp is just impossible to use, if you can't get down it, I'll just keep an eye on whenever it does become usable. Um, I know that's going to throw the schedule off for fishing and chilling, so if that happens, I'll just reschedule the fishing and chilling event till I think the dock is going to be cleared, it's going to be accessible. So I do want people to be able to come to this, of course. If I have to adjust the dates to make it work, I'll do that, but as of right now, I'm not going to change anything. So I'm going to hold on to the dates that I had. It is the best dates because most people have some time off right then. But if I have to maneuver the dates, if I have to reschedule them, I'll do that. It's not a, it's not a deal breaker, it's just a deal changer, you know? So that's what's on my mind. That's what I'm going to do. You guys saw the condition of the dock. It's in pretty rough shape. The ramp is just a sheet of ice. I don't think you can put a truck down that. You're going to end up right in the water. So. I'm not interested in dancing that dance. So I'll keep an eye on it, and if I have to reschedule, I will. But uh, I'm not ready to reschedule just yet. I want to go over and see if I can break that up with my chisel and still uh, use the ramp. That's it for the dock update. Uh, I appreciate you guys subbing and uh, checking out the new channel and this content that's coming out. You guys are awesome. You always support me so much. Thank you for that. Uh, Merry Christmas. Much love, much respect, see ya.